Hey guys, so I'm parked outside the lip blush tattoo place. I want to tell you guys that the first time I ever did it was 10 months ago. Um, you're supposed to get like the first session is like a neutralizer color session. Then you go 30 days later and you get like a touch up and that's where they deposit the color that you want. When I went for the 30 days after, she said mine was way too bright still. And that's good because she was honest and she said I didn't need to have another touch up. But it's 10 months later now and even though it's still good. Like, um, I'll try to find a picture to insert before this, but even though it's still good, I want, like, the full, actual, like, the first session and the touch-up. Also, the corner, she didn't really get that much, so I want her to do that. And the border, I feel like, is brighter than the inner part, so I kind of want for it to all match. Yeah. So, the first thing she does, it's put numbing cream you wait for that to set in and then she goes in and starts doing it and it's like an actual tattoo um so that's the only tattoo i've ever gotten so i can't compare it to anything else but i know the lips are like a sensitive area but i didn't think it was that bad to be honest i want to say it's like a seven when you first um like one to ten it's like a seven of pain when you start getting it but you start getting like numb to it plus the numbing cream and i think it goes down to like a four and then it's like tolerable and it just it's like two hours long the first session today the touch-up is supposed to only be an hour so pain i guess everybody's pain tolerance is different but i don't think it was that bad your lips do swell up very very much um i'll show you guys immediately after all right so the first session is 350 for two hours and then the first lip touch-up is 200 so that's how much it costs me Definitely need some like two days of downtime because they swell up so much and they're so bright so I'll show you guys when I come out it's almost scary how big your lips get you look like mrs. potato head so yeah two days of downtime is probably needed um, I mean now that everybody has to wear a mask then I guess it's not that bad you could cover it with a mask so this would be a perfect time to get lip blush tattoo if you were thinking about it it's supposed to last two to five years and then so I'll show you guys also like um, right after like the day after and the process of healing because it starts like flaking and you kind of want to like pick at it But you shouldn't but yeah, so it's like an actual tattoo So after a few days it starts flaking off you have to keep it very moisturized. I obviously like it I'm coming back to do another session and After three to five years, hopefully it does last five years um, Even if it lasts three or four, I would do it again. It makes such a difference like I didn't have much color in my lips Yeah, like my lips before um they kind of just like blended into my face so i constantly had to put on like a tint of chapstick or like something because i wanted color and like life to my face even if i wasn't wearing makeup i just wanted my lips to like at least look healthy i don't know so i feel like this is really good because you wake up and you have color on your lips even if you go out put makeup on put lipstick on once the lipstick or lip gloss or anything fades off you still have this cut like the natural color on or like the tattoo color on and it just looks great so i do recommend it if anybody's thinking about getting it i think it's great oh and also like the really bright color you come out with is not the color it's gonna stay it starts fading away i'm gonna go into my appointment and i'll update you guys later So I just got out of the lip appointment, the lip blush appointment. Are you guys ready for this? Not as bad as the first time because she only had to fill in certain areas. It wasn't like the whole thing needed it, so it's not as swollen as before, but <laughs> I look crazy. So yeah, this is what it looks like immediately after. I look crazy. Um, it hurt a lot less this time. <laughs> I look so crazy. Yeah, it hurt a lot less this time, I guess. I don't know. Either I was used to it since I did it last time. Uh, so I'm going to go home. 
because I look crazy right now, but this is the immediately after result and I will check in with you guys later. Hi. Hi, look. <laughs> I wanted to get your reaction. <laughs> What'd you do? Hey guys, just checking in. So it's been like four hours already and the top is still swollen but nowhere as swollen as it was before and yeah it feels fine i guess the first time since it takes two hours the swelling lasts a lot longer but this time it only took an hour so yeah it's not that bad i'm sure tomorrow i'll wake up a lot better but yeah that's what it looks like i will see you guys tomorrow bye hey guys just checking in to show you what day three looks like um day one the swelling went down completely by nighttime um i know i had said before that it takes like a day or two but i guess that was only the first time because it took like two hours to fully tattoo the lips this time since it was a touch-up um it was like 40 minutes to an hour so i guess the swelling wasn't as bad this time around so yeah by the end of the night of day one the swelling was completely gone then day two which was yesterday i forgot to film but it looked exactly like this um just my lips weren't as dry or flaky now day three they've been very dry and like they're starting to flake off um i've been moisturizing all day but i didn't moisturize for right now just so you guys could see how dry and flaky they start getting so yeah let me just do a close-up of my lips So yeah, that's what it starts looking like. Um, I guess it'll just flake a little bit more throughout the week. And then it leaves like almost pretty much this color. Just the brighter areas start flaking off.